this is a weird angle. Okay, we're just gonna go right there. And we're gonna sit up a little bit. Hey guys, Dion here. So today, I guess, is kind of a more serious-ish topic. I don't even know. But, uh, um, so I came to, like, this epiphanic type of, like, revelation i don't know if that's the proper term to use here but i was literally just like scrolling through my twitter feed like just laying in bed i've been taking naps all day today's saturday and i realized i'm like it's social media is getting so annoying and you're probably like well why are you uploading to social media right now and i'll get to that later in the video but i mean i wish this was more of like a filmed and edited video but i really do not care about that right now. Um, but what I'm noticing is just, like, I just hate... I'm starting to hate social media. And, I mean, that could be really good to be like, hey, I'm done with social media. Or that could be really bad because, A, it's my career path. Like, my career path all has to do with media and perception and everything that revolves around what you see and how you interpret. So it's hard to like hate it. But like one of my tweets was, um, it's hard to it, something, 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 something. Uh, because if you're left behind, I don't, let me, let me actually pull up the tweet. That'll make it a lot easier. <laughs> I'm a mess. I should have had it planned. I really don't care. This is all improv. Hello, and welcome to my blog. <laughs> uh, um, okay, so, view profile. Oh, my mini MacBook. It's cute. It's so cute. Um, so I said, it initially started, uh, with the tweet that said, I miss the way YouTube used to be. Now it's all about who can be famous and views. It's not even about having fun anymore, which is true. I started YouTube back in seventh grade, which was 2010, 2010, 2011 in that area. Um, and at that time, I was just uploading for honestly just for fun. I was like, okay, we're just going to do this. And I had more, I had probably more detailed reasons like back then why I was uploading. But now it's kind of just like become a job. At this point, even though I'm not even heavily paid, heavily paid to upload videos, it's becoming a job and a chore to upload videos and to make quality content of th stuff that most likely somebody else has already come up with and has already uploaded. So everything that we're already seeing, like collab videos and just different types of tags and stuff like that, has already been done we're just recycling the same ideas over and over again and trying to one-up another in the YouTube community to just make a base for ourselves to A, either get this term called YouTube famous, which I really don't even know what that means. I exhibited that at VidCon, which I'll talk about, um, to get either YouTube famous or some sense of validation for yourself or, I mean, or you could just be, honestly, if you're, if you're doing it for fun, then go you. Like, you're having fun making content for your channels, whether you're a beauty guru or gamer, a vlogger, how-to, DIY, designs, um, educational, uh, and any, YouTube is anything. YouTube has so much, so it's like... It's hard to fit, like, within the vlogging community, if you don't fit the mold, which is basically you have to be perfectly looking, you have to have the perfect lighting, you have to have the perfect camera, you have to have the perfect sense of humor, you essentially have to be the perfect picture, in that sense, to get fans, um... I mean, I'm not, I don't know if I want to go into race and stuff like that, but you can look at the demographic 
The demographic will give you a huge insight as to who's who and who's not. I'll put it that way. And sometimes it's not fair because, A, now the people who are becoming famous are famous just because they are attractive. So if you're not attractive, but you're talented. So what happens to the people who may not be deemed in society as attractive, but who are talented. People who can make the presence for themselves, who can be larger than life, than the people who are one-trick ponies, only have their looks going for them, only have money going for them, and people doing the work for them. So they're more put up in society than people who are talented, working their ass off and trying to make it or make something of themselves to do something with their life than the, to the other side of the spectrum that's just being given everything because they look a certain way. And that's totally legitimate that that could happen because you have to have your models, you have to have the people who are your personalities, you have to have it or else society... The social media perception part of society would not function because of the way that evolution has become. That's simple as that. So, <laughs> digressing on that topic, it's I've started just to hate social media and due to the fact that it's it's evolving in a negative way. It's evolving to the fact that we can't be a community anymore. We can't work off of one each other because it's too much of a superiority and inferior, inferior, inferiority system. Back in, I started watching YouTube videos in maybe 2006-ish in that range when I was really young. I don't really remember what I used to watch back then, but I remember the first consistent YouTuber I started watching was Glozell. Back in 2008 was the first time I started watching her. And I just loved... Oh, and Kingsley back then, too. I started watching Kingsley back then. And the thing that I loved about them is that they can just be funny. They can be free. They can upload the type of content that they wanted to. They didn't have a certain type of mold that they had to fit. And then same thing with Joey Graceffa in 2010. I Justine, 2010. They were just making videos to make videos. But I mean, I get that it's their job. This is their main source of income. But it's not everybody. Everyone cannot do it. So it doesn't make sense for everyone to just pretend as if they are on the upper tier and just doing things to get famous. I noticed that at VidCon. People would just pull out their selfie sticks, pull out their cameras, um, just to record anything, essentially. I mean, yeah, I recorded at VidCon, too, but I did not go promoting myself all over VidCon just to be like, hey, watch me, watch me do this, watch me do that, doing crazy erratic things. I was sitting on the main aisle of VidCon while these group of guys, I guess, or not guys, but like guys and a couple girls were, I guess, Viners, but they were on you now streaming and they're like, hey guys, um, if you get me to this certain amount of subs slash views, I'll do this, I'll do this, I'll do that, I'll do this, I'll do that. Just crazy stuff in public to make them famous. Is that how we really want to make videos anymore? Just doing things to get famous? I don't get it. I don't get it. Why can't we enjoy the fact that we all have a certain unique type of video content that we can bring to YouTube? And I know we can't change the mold. If you don't fit the YouTube mold, then you're not accepted within society. So, after this 10-minute video, guess I guess leave your comments below about how you feel about this topic um, if you like this video, make sure you give it a giant thumbs up and positive reminder of the day is just to do your own thing, be unique in your own way. Um, so yeah, sound off in the comments below. I'll be reading them, responding to them. And if you want a full term, like sit down video, nice lighting and everything, like this video up. I'll make another video about this sometime soon. So yeah, stay awesome and stay happy. Peace out.
Okay.